How are you? こんにちは。皆さん、お元気ですか ?Today I'm going to talk about 型の6要素。That is six, the six elements of 型。Well, 型、this 漢字、this is 型、and, and the, the meaning is like a mold。型の6要素 And this no is particle, just six in very important essence of kata, like that. So, and roku, this kanji, it means six. Roku, ichi ni san si go roku. This is the kanji for six. And this yo, yo so. This yo, it can. Be for example, ju yo. The first part, the other kanji from omoi, ju, ju yo. That means this is important essence, ju yo. And so, this is the very, very, the, the last tiny part of the very, very important element that is so. So, yo so, it will be yo so is very important. Very, very important essential element, and there are six. So, six,、uh, six important essence or six important elements of this no is like of kata. So, kata no roku yoso. Ja, m i t e k i m a s h o Ichi ban hajime. Vamos a mirar la primera. Chikara no kyojaku. Chikara no. 強弱。力、パワー。力。This is just the same as カタカナ。カ。んカ。This is 力。We can pronounce also 力。But here, 力の強弱。強。This 漢字 is from 強い。強い。強い means strong. This is E adjective. Strong. E Adjective. This kanji from yoa, yoa, very, very weak, very weak. So, kyojaku, kyojaku is the strong and de-、uh, strong and weak, so strong, weak of the power. What do, does it mean? Well, we say many, many times kyojaku to say. Contract, the, the contrast. So, contrast, the contrast because t s u y o i and y o a i is the contrary, strong and weak. So, to, to, to do kata, you have to think about the strength and also when you are doing not so with that every,、uh, all of your power. Sometimes a little less power, and in the other time, very, very strong. So there's a contrast, and it's very important the contrast of your power. So, st- strength and weakness of your power. But it's very important to make your contrast. Karada no shinshuku. 体の伸縮 Well, this karada, we can also pronounce tai. I sometimes heard tai no shinshuku, also like that, but it's the same. Karada or tai, it means body, our body. Karada no shinshuku. Shin, this kanji, it comes from nobiru. Nobimasu. Nobiru. Mm. Nobimas to stretch, to stretch, or, 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 or make it longer. That is nobiru. For example, I can say, Kami ga nobimashita, Kami no ke ga nobimashita. It means、uh, my hair has grown, it, 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 it's growing. 髪が伸びています
no be mas. So it is make longer or to stretch. Stretch. And shuku, this kanji is to make it very, very, very small. For example, if you wash something, the, the, the sweater, if you wash sweater with very, very hot water, the sweater becomes very, 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 very small. Hmm? That is chijimu. Chijimu, it means to shrink, to shrink, to bin, diminish in size. That is shuku, shuku. We can pronounce chijimu, chijimu, but it, the, the meaning is the same, to shrink. This kanji is itohen, this thread, and here, this part, it's shuku or yado. When we say gashuku, this part, this part, the, the right side of this kanji from gashuku, from the karate gashuku, like that. So, shin shuku, it means to stretch and to shrink, right? So, uh, this means the extension or con uh, extension and contraction of the body. That means karada no shinshuku. So when we do our kata, sometimes nobiru and sometimes chijimu. So extension and contraction, right? That is the karada no shinshuku means. So we must use this karada no shin shuku. Then, waza no kankyu. Waza no kankyu. Waza, you know, this is the technique. Waza no kankyu. This kanji is quite difficult. Again, the left part is ito. Ito hen, this is a thread. And here, you write the first, like no in katakana, like tsu in katakana, and ichi in here, like tomodachi, like friend. This is kan, kan kyu. And this kan, you can also say yurumeru or yuruyaka. It means, this kanji yuruyaka, it means very, very, very relaxing, very loose or um, very calm, very comfortable. That is this kanji means. Hmm? So relaxed, very, very slow, easy going, like that. But this Q, here there's a kokoro, <laughs> heart. This comes from isogu, isogimasu. Hurry, hurry, hurry up. Isogimasu, hurry, hurry. So it's very, 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 so quick. Hmm? But this one was slow, slow tempo. And this is very, very, very quick tempo. So this is the, the contrary word. So when we are doing our waza, tempo is very, very important. Not always the same tempo, but sometimes very, very relaxing way and slow and comfortable, but all of a sudden, so quick, so rapid. So this is kankyu. So until you hear, every word was some kind of contrast, right? Karada no shinshuku, that was, con there's a con con um, Mm, contrast. Kyojaku. That was the very the, uh, contrast. The very strong and weak. So until here, all is about um, contrast. And now, Jushin no ante. Jushin no ante. Jushin. This kanji comes from Omoi. Omoi. That means it's heavy. Heavy. And kokoro, this is our heart or our feeling. So the feeling must be 
in in the heavy place. So jushin means the center of the gravity. This is jushin. So where our feeling is just there, uh, to, like heavy. That is jushin, center of gravity. No, ante, 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 the both, this means stability. In the first kanji, an, this is with ukamuri, and here, onna, the woman. This an, for example, I put an, in this kanji, shin, an shin, an shin desu. It means I feel very, very relieved. Whew, that is anshin. And tei, this kanji, also we use ukamuri. And this kanji, we can also pronounce sada, sadameru, or sadamaru. Sadameru, it means to decide. To decide, to decide. And this is to relieve, feel very, mm, I feel relieved. So, ante stability, the place where you feel very relieved, stability, stability of the center of the gravity. This is juicy no ante. The next, kishin no yoi. Kishin no yoi. Ki? This is energy. Our ki. Ki. Shin. We saw this kanji many, many, many times. This is shin or kokoro. Feeling. Heart. Kishin. So the kishin, the both kanji, this is our feeling, our heart, our spirit. No? Yoi. Yoi. Well, we use yoi. Right? This is preparation. Yoi. Yoi shimasu. To prepare something. To yoi shimasu. Yoi. This is a preparation. Preparation of our spirit. When we are doing kata. So, very, very important. that Not, not the preparation of our body, but also spirit, our feeling. Maybe this is more important than just a body. Kishin no yoi. And the last one, chakugan. Chakugan. What does it mean? Chaku. This kanji, we can pronounce in many ways, like many other kanji. We can pronounce ki. Like kimono. There's a clothes. O kimas. I put on something, some clothes. Ki. Or we can pronounce tsu from tsuku. Tsukimas. Tsukimas means to arrive. Arrive. For example, um, Ashita nanji ni tsukimasu ka? At what time are you going to arrive tomorrow? Ashita nanji ni tsukimasu ka? Or, um, uh, tochaku, tochaku, with this kanji, tochaku, tochaku jikan, hikouki no tochaku jikan wa nanji desu ka? What time is the arrival, what time is the arrival time of your, your, your airplane? Tochaku, so, chaku, it means arrival, or to arrive. Gan. This gun means the eye, the eye. We can also pronounce me, me. But if you are studying Japanese, I think you know only this left part without this one. Only left part, this is also me, me, the eye. So you might think, what's the difference? With this kanji me, I, and this kanji 
also I. Yeah, there's a difference. When I use this me, yeah, you can you can refer me. But when I say ichiban me, niban me, sanban me, that means first, second, third. That is ichiban me, niban me, sanban me, yonban me. We use this me, but it's not the I. So the first, the second, like that. And also we use taifu no me. Do you know what is taifu? Taifu, there's lots of taifu in September, in October, in autumn in Japan. That is typhoon. Typhoon. Taifu no me. Taifu no me. That means the center of the taifu. Center of taifu. Taifu, taifu. I say taifu, but you say typhoon or um, taifu. Do you know that is lots of lots of rain and wind, so it's very dangerous. But in the center, in the center, it's very calm, quiet, without any rain, without any wind, just the center. But all around. Lots of wind and rain, it's very, very dangerous. Taifu no be, me, the center of this taifu. So we use this me, not only for our bodies, this me, for many, many things too. So actually this me is used more often, but this me, it is only for human bodies or, or, or our eyes, eyes from the body, only for that. So, for example, if I want to say megane, but we use this because megane, this one, and gane, that is from mirror, megane, the mirror of the eyes, that is megane. So, uh, you know, this means the eye. But what does it mean? The eye arrival. The eye arrival. That means that the focus of your look, because the eye arrives to somewhere, the focus of your look. So the focus of your look is very important when you are doing your kata. So these were the six. Six. Hmm? The first one was chikara no kyojaku. Chikara no kyojaku. Second, karada no shinshuku. The third, wada no kankyu. Yonban me. Jushin no antei. Goban me. Kishin no yoi. Rokuban me. Chakugan. Do you think this video was very useful for you? If you like this video, please don't forget to give me your like. That will be very, very nice for me. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe my channel and please give me some comments or your advice or anything in uh, below this video in the commentary. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Domarigatou gozaimashita. Jaa, mata aimashou. Bye bye.